Hello, my crafty loving friends. Welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today we're going to take this wooden tag and a beautiful napkin and make this awesome decor for the holidays. So first I'm going to take this tag. I think I got it at Michael's. It may have been Hobby Lobby. Not really sure. I got it a year or two ago and I just had it in my stash and I decided I wanted to use it because I got this package of napkins for our just our holiday celebration and I just love the picture on it with this cardinal so I wanted to open up the package and make one little decor piece with it so that I would have it to remember because it's just so beautiful so I remembered I had this wooden tag so I thought I would use my heat gun and try and get this K off the front and I had to pry it a little bit because it was actually also stapled. It took a little bit but I actually got it off and the staples were left behind so I went ahead and got my pliers and pulled those little staples out. They came out really easily. Once I did that I went ahead and sanded the top a little bit where the glue had taken some of the paper off. It was a little uneven so I thought if I sanded it down it wouldn't be so bad uh, even with the napkin on it I didn't think you'd be able to tell anyway but just in case you know you kinda wanna kinda wanna make sure and I also wanted to uh, cover you know, kinda take off some of that red because I'm going to cover it up with this plaster Waverly paint but I didn't want to have to paint it a whole bunch of times to get it to cover up that red which it didn't take much. I did paint it uh, in two coats just so that it was nice and covered and maybe some of those parts where the glue came off it would level off some of that wood uh, so it would make it even. So I just give it uh, two coats of white paint or plaster paint and it's kind of an off-white and then I'm going to cut out, while that's drying a little bit, I'm going to cut out my napkin. I'm just going to do the very front. The front has a tint to it. The rest of it is just white. So, and it's, that's fine. I'll be able to do what I need to do with what I have here. And so I'm just placing it on there. I'm going to start at the bottom and just put about a third of the Mod Podge up the tag. We're going to do this in sections. It makes it a little easier to put the napkin down and not uh, get it to, and get it to move where we want it to be uh, or the placement to be. So I'm going to just level the bottom with the bottom of the tag and then I'm going to have it go right off the edge. We'll take care of those edges later. I'm going to go to the next part and put some Mod Podge on there. And then we're going to put that one down and smooth that out. And then we'll do the top as well, just all the same way. Once I get it all Mod Podge down, I'm going to take a piece of plastic wrap and my brayer and I'm going to go over it with the brayer to smooth it out, get all the bubbles and wrinkles out as best that I can. Uh, and also I like to run it over the edges because I will be taking those off so it just kind of gives it a little crease so it knows where I'm going to take it off. I'm just going to take some sandpaper once it's dry and go ahead and uh, in a downward motion just sand those edges right off nice and smooth. This works so well. Then I'm going to lay it flat and I'm going to do sand the top down so it gives it a little more distressing. I want it to be kind of jagged and not all the way to the edge. I'm going to be doing a little something different with that. And of course it just gives it a more aged vintage look by adding some distressing around the edges. 
I really love how the bottom came out. It's almost uh, a ripped, uh, jagged edge there. I really like how that came out. So now for the top, because it didn't go all the way to the top with the napkin, I'm going to take some of the edges from the rest of the napkin and kind of layer them up and go up over the top of it with it. So this is going to be kind of like a border on the top. I love this pattern. I think it's beautiful. And of course, all the colors go together because it's all from the same napkin. So it works really well. So I'm just going to Mod Podge that on and then I'll do the next piece and I'll make sure if I overlap it, I put a little Mod Podge on that uh, other piece that's there so that it will stick to it. Again, using my plastic wrap, I'm just going to set that down as kind of a barrier and roll my brayer right over it to flatten it out. And once it dries, I will go ahead and sand that off again, uh, those edges. And I'm also going to go over the top of it with the uh, my sandpaper to scuff up the picture to make it look a little more aged. I wanted to talk to you guys about tailored canvases. They contacted me and asked if I would like a sign, if I would add it in my video, and I am so surprised at the quality of these signs. They're so nice. It looks like it would be heavy, but it's really not. It's a very nice material. It's just a wrapped canvas, and it works really well. So of course I had to get the off-grid homestead sign for our dining room and this is their website they are a wonderful company and I will have a link to them down in the description and also there is a discount code down there for you as well so please go check it out it would make a great gift for the holidays uh, birthdays anytime um, what a wonderful uh, wedding gift to give somebody with their new names together and uh, or anything like that, or a new business. So I wanted to uh, share this with you guys and thank Taylor Canvas for sending us this beautiful sign. We love it. Now this is a Mod Podge and I washed my brush before I used it again but I don't think I washed it very well um, because once it dried it left a little bit of a white hue um, it, just over it as you can see here it's just a little little white hue which is okay I'm not super happy about it it's kind of a rookie mistake I should have washed my brush a little better but I will fix it later on. This is Fusion Metallics paint. I'm going to use this around the edges. I said when I distressed it, I was going to use something on there. So I'm going to go ahead and use this um, paint around. This is the like a coppery gold color. It's beautiful and a little bit goes a long way. So I just wanted to get my uh, paintbrush a little bit wet and then I dabbed it off. And I'm going to just go around the edges here and just kind of highlight those distressed edges and make it look vintage and old again. Once I get that all on there, I'm just going to take a paper towel and wipe it back just a little bit and then also smear it and kind of rub it in a little. So I went all the way around and then I decided that I wanted to do the edges as well. So I'm not going to do full coverage on there, but I'm going to put it on a little bit thicker and then I'm going to go ahead and again use the paper towel and just kind of wipe it back and rub it in and smooth it out. So 
I found some greenery in my stash and I decided to use this little piece that was just kicking around. So I'm going to add some of the gold to that, or the copper to that, and uh, we're going to just put it on and then wipe it back. It leaves a nice smooth finish onto my leaves. You can still see the green, but it gives it that, uh, it just kind of marries the two pieces together. I also have these gold branches and I cut a piece off, but it was very bright gold and I wanted to tone it down. So again, took a little bit of this metallic paint and put that over the top and glued that onto my sign. And of course, it wouldn't be a sign with a cardinal without some red berries. So I have some of those as well. Just going to glue those on over the top. I added a pretty little burlap bow and also put a hanger for my tag on there. Now I didn't show it, but I took a little bit of antique wax and went over the top of my tag over the parts where the white paint was showing through. And I think it really toned down that white paint and made it look a little more antique to see what you think. So what do you think of my project today? I hope you really liked it. I love this napkin and I wanted to highlight it in something. So don't forget to go down and check out the Taylor Canvas link and the promo code. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and have a great day. Thank you.